Good afternoon, and welcome to our 100,000 Strong in the Americas community. I'm Tuck Evans, the Counselor for Public Affairs at U.S. Embassy Guatemala. On behalf of the U.S. Department of State, Embassy Guatemala City, and embassies in the region, it is my pleasure to open this 100K Winners event. To help announce the 12 new innovative training programs, we will open the event today with words of welcome from our Principal Deputy Assistant Secretary at the Bureau of Western Hemisphere Affairs in Washington, D.C., Ricardo Zuniga. And then we will go to the long-anticipated 100K Oscars moment. U.S. Ambassador to Guatemala, William Pop, and our visionary partner for this competition, CEO of AgroAmerica, Fernando Bolaños Valle, will announce these exciting new 100K programs that will benefit students throughout the region and the United States. From Guatemala to the U.S., Santo Domingo to Central America, thanks for being here to celebrate the new 100K winning teams. And now, it's my pleasure to welcome Principal Deputy Assistant Secretary Ricardo Zuniga to get us started. Hola, my name is Ricardo Zuniga, and with my team in Washington, D.C., and our embassies in the region, I congratulate the new 100,000 strong in the Americas grant-winning teams spanning six countries and 12 U.S. states. The new 100K partnerships announced today will create groundbreaking training programs for students in public health, climate, technology, agriculture, STEM, and other areas throughout the United States, Central America, and the Dominican Republic. To the 100K winners, thank you for your leadership to provide access to new exchange programs so that a full range of diverse students gain technical skills and collaborate to solve real-world problems. This would not be possible without our partnership with AgroAmerica and a generous commitment to the 100K Innovation Fund. To colleagues at AgroAmerica, muchas gracias. Working closely with the private sector, partners of the Americas, and an impressive diversity of regional educational institutions, I'm confident that these new and future 100K partnerships will educate and empower generations of students. It's now my pleasure to invite my colleague, Ambassador William Pop, to announce the 100K winners. Today we celebrate the new winners of the 100,000 Strong in the Americas Innovation Fund Competition. A competition that builds partnerships and training programs between the United States, Central America, and the Dominican Republic. This 100K competition is possible thanks to a public-private partnership between the Department of State's Bureau of Western Hemisphere Affairs and our Guatemalan partner, AgroAmerica. On behalf of my colleagues in Washington and our U.S. embassies in the region, I want to sincerely thank AgroAmerica for their commitment to building a better future through educational exchanges and academic partnerships. Together, with contributions of the Department of State and NGO Partners of the Americas, the generous support from AgroAmerica is providing opportunities for Central American and Dominican universities to build sustainable partnerships with their U.S. counterparts. The partnerships we are creating will innovate, educate, and empower. The winning projects we announced today are dynamic and ambitious. From public health to conservation to entrepreneurship, these projects are starting point for addressing some of the most significant challenges and exciting opportunities facing our communities. Each of the new 100K teams will announce today will receive $25,000 to implement innovative projects that will leverage the remarkable energy and creativity of our students, professors, researchers, and administrators. These awards are a down payment on the idea that we grow best when we grow together. And now, for the moment that we have all been waiting for, the announcement of our 100K Oscar Awards. I am pleased to share the first six of the 12 winning Innovation Fund teams. Texas Tech University with Universidad Tecnológica de Honduras and the Universidad de San Carlos de Guatemala for their program, Convergence Research to Tackle Grand Challenges, a unified response to the contamination of the Rio Montagua Basin. Universidad del Valle de Guatemala and the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign for their program, Academic Exchange for Sustainability Through Design. Boise State University and the Universidad Tecnológica de Honduras for their program, Building Bridges Through Tech-Based Startups, Cultivating Hope and Creating Future for Young Entrepreneurs. Quality Leadership University in Panama and Illinois State University for their program, Collaborative Cross-Cultural Learning to Enhance Global Problem-Solving Skills. University of Southern Indiana and the Universidad Tecnológica de Panama for their program, Developing Innovative Solutions to Global Environmental Challenges Through a Multicultural Biomimicry-Based Design Thinking Approach, Partnership for Joint Research and Exchange. 
Morgan State University and the Instituto Especializado de Profesionales de la Salud in El Salvador for their program, Cultural Heroes, an interdisciplinary experience in community health and sustainable development for social entrepreneurship in the United States and El Salvador. Congratulations to these six winning teams and their visionary education leadership. Now it is my pleasure to invite our 100K partner and the CEO of AgroAmerica, Fernando Bolaños Valle, to announce the other six winning teams in this competition. Muchas gracias, Embajador Pop. Es un gusto estar hoy como parte de este evento en el que en nombre de Agroamérica tengo el honor de anunciar a los otros seis equipos ganadores de subvenciones del 100,000 Strong in the Americas. Con mucha emoción felicitamos a los estudiantes de los equipos que han sido seleccionados y nos sentimos orgullosos de saber que los ganadores incluyen seis países en Centroamérica y República Dominicana, así como 12 estados de los Estados Unidos de América. A lo largo de nuestra historia en Agroamérica nos hemos distinguido por mantener un modelo de negocio en el que procuramos el bienestar de nuestros colaboradores, comunidades cercanas y el medio ambiente. Hacerlo bien, haciendo el bien. Bajo este modelo, la innovación ha jugado un papel clave. A través de ella hemos alcanzado los más altos estándares de calidad y eficiencia bajo una operación sostenible y responsable. Y es aquí mismo, en este evento, en donde la innovación ha llevado a los equipos ganadores a pensar fuera de la caja para diseñar increíbles programas que estoy seguro continuarán aportando al bienestar de nuestros países. En Agroamérica sabemos que los retos que enfrentamos como región deben ser abordados en forma conjunta, con alianzas estratégicas que estén enfocadas en generar prosperidad para Estados Unidos, Centroamérica y la República Dominicana. Por eso, nos sentimos orgullosos de formar parte del 100,000 Strong in the Americas Innovation Fund para lograr que distintos estudiantes tengan la oportunidad de idear, proponer y realizar un impacto positivo en nuestras sociedades. A los estudiantes que forman parte de los equipos ganadores, quiero alentarlos a continuar trabajando para implementar de forma exitosa los programas que han diseñado para el intercambio y desarrollo académico en la región. De todo corazón, en Agroamérica los felicitamos por su esfuerzo, éxitos en la implementación de sus proyectos y sin más preámbulos, estos son los seis equipos ganadores que tengo el honor de anunciar. Número uno, Alamo College District y la Universidad Veritas en Costa Rica para su proyecto Simbiosis Intercambio Medioambiental. Número dos, College of Southern Nevada y la Universidad Estatal a Distancia en Costa Rica para su proyecto Del Desierto a la Selva Tropical, Intercambio Estados Unidos-Costa Rica para fomentar el análisis comparativo internacional del cambio climático. Número 3, The Catholic University of America y la Universidad Federada de San Juan Tadeo en Costa Rica para su proyecto Cerrando la Brecha en el Cuidado de la Salud, formación lingüística y cultural para profesionales y estudiantes en Costa Rica y Estados Unidos. Número 4, William Riney Harper College y la Universidad Nacional de Costa Rica para su proyecto Aprendizaje Global a través del intercambio virtual en línea, transformando la enseñanza y la formación de experiencias educativas internacionales inmersivas. Número 5, Mercer University y la Universidad Central del Este en la República Dominicana para su proyecto Construyendo una Pedagogía Inclusiva e Individualizada. Y número 6, Tompkins Cortland Community College y la Universidad Federico Enríquez y Carvajal en la República Dominicana para su proyecto Cultivando la Educación Recíproca a través del intercambio sostenible. Felicidades a todos los distinguidos ganadores y a continuación presentaremos unos videos cortos en los que veremos en estos, a estos equipos ganadores en acción, describiendo sus proyectos y el impacto que buscan crear. This 100,000 Study Abroad Innovation Grant focuses on empowering the youth of Honduras to dream and build future of opportunities through tech-based startups and entrepreneurship. Este programa ofrecerá a los jóvenes de Honduras una oportunidad para crear futuro en su propio país y revertir el éxodo de talento de muchos que hoy buscan un futuro en otros países. El programa permitirá el encuentro de jóvenes emprendedores entre Honduras y Estados Unidos y desarrollar un programa académico para estudiantes hondureños orientado a la incubación de empresas de tecnología y adaptado a la realidad sociocultural de Honduras. We live in an interconnected world. The prosperity of Honduras affects all the other countries in the region. 
The project focuses on the youth and their ability to build a bright future for Honduras. How do we plan to do that? By forging a network of entrepreneurs between the United States and Honduras, giving the tools so Honduran students can turn their dreams into reality and creating opportunities through technology-based startups and innovation. Este programa abre oportunidades para que estudiantes hondureños puedan vivir una experiencia académica en Estados Unidos que les puede cambiar la vida sin duda alguna. La inmersión de tipo cultural, académico, lingüística y gastronómica, pero más importante aún, es un encuentro de pares emprendedores que viven en culturas y realidades distintas, pero comparten el mismo sueño de un futuro más próspero. This project addresses the root of the causes of people leaving Honduras seeking a better future. With this grant, we hope to make a small contribution toward prosperity and security for Honduras in their own country. We are excited about this collaboration with La Universidad Tecnológica de Honduras. In the future, we plan to expand our cooperation and create new opportunities for academic exchanges between students and faculty members. The International Exchange Program, from the desert to the rainforest, will prepare diverse students to address climate change in both arid and tropical environments. The majority of these students will be pursuing a major in STEM fields, including biology, environmental science, and other studies in natural resource management. During this exchange between Costa Rican students at the Universidad Estatal de Estancia, Costa Rica, and U.S. students at the College of Southern Nevada, Students will practice STEM-based techniques while conducting independent research, gaining an understanding of scientific literature, and assessing and analyzing different types of ecosystems. Results from the inaugural program will be used to attract future student participants, encourage additional faculty engagement, and leverage private and corporate involvement to ensure the sustainability of the program. To teach, to learn, to discover, to create, to inspire, to empower, and to serve. We serve students in undergraduate, graduate, and professional learning programs, as well as in research and in service to others. We, we are the Tisch College, College of Education, Education at Mercer University. University. The Tiff College of Education is the number one private preparer of educators in the state of Georgia. Mercer prepares candidates to blend theory with practice, to think critically, and to interact effectively in a technologically complex global society. With the help of 100,000 strong in the America's Innovations Fund, we are able to support a student exchange program between Mercer University and the Universidad Central de Este, where we are able to increase student awareness of global education opportunities, enhance pre-service teacher candidates' intercultural competency awareness and skills, develop pre-service teacher candidates' understanding of multiple student perspectives and responsiveness to student cultural context needs in pedagogical content delivery, and provide opportunities for students to develop presentation and train the trainer skills so that we are better prepared to serve the diverse needs of our future students in our own classrooms. On behalf of Tiff College of Education of Mercer University and the School of Education of USA, we thank 100,000 Strong in the Americas Innovations Fund and their partners for the opportunity to immerse our students in cultural experiences that help expand their understanding of global perspectives. Since its founding in 1867, the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign has been a leader in developing learning experiences that transform students and producing innovative research that impacts the world. At the Granger College of Engineering, we are a global leader for engineering education and research across every discipline. Welcome to Universidad del Valle de Guatemala. We are a non-profit private university funded in 1966 with three campuses in Guatemala, our mission is to develop agents of change that impact society through education and research centered in science and technology. This program was created to offer students at both universities a study abroad experience to build competencies in design to address global sustainability challenges. 
During 2022, our students will have the opportunity to work in multidisciplinary and multicultural teams to build prototypes of solutions to problems on issues related to sustainability. Illinois students from the Granger College of Engineering will travel to Guatemala to build and test the first prototypes, and after that, UGV students will iterate, refine prototypes, and travel to Illinois during the fall, where they will present, together with their UIUC teammates, the final results to professors and industry experts. I'm participating in this course because as a future engineer, I believe that my work should improve people's lives. So I would like to be able to design and participate in projects that are sustainable and help especially those in needy communities. While working with Illinois students, I would like to learn different perspectives and new ways of seeing, designing, and working towards a solution as a multidisciplinary team. I got involved in the course of design and innovation for development because I'm a person whose curiosity never ends. Actually, I'm studying mechanical engineering because of that curiosity and the desire to build machines. I have many project ideas that I want to realize and I want to learn how to develop them. Therefore, I want to learn how to design and innovate those projects and what a better way to accomplish this than working with students from other countries who may help me see things in a different way and find together the best design. We want to thank Partners of the Americas, the U.S. Department of State and AgroAmerica for their support in this initiative. Hola, buenos días. Soy Olga María Moscoso, Coordinadora General de Cooperación y Relaciones Internacionales de la Universidad de San Carlos de Guatemala. Junto a Texas Tech University y la Universidad Tecnológica de Honduras, soy coordinadora de esta gran iniciativa. Hola, ¿qué tal están? Soy Diego Chacón, Vicerrector de Vinculación de UTH y coordinador de este proyecto con Texas Tech y la Universidad San Carlos de Guatemala. Hi, my name is Dr. Carrie Carter. I'm a assistant professor of practice here at Texas Tech University in the Interdisciplinary Studies Department. This 100K Strong Innovation Grant focuses on addressing competencies such as problem solving skills, issues and challenges, and promoting a multicultural environment where students can work together to find solutions to current problems facing their local communities. These problems are considered wicked problems. Wicked problems are large, complex, socio-environmental problems that are impossible to solve by a single person or group alone. Solving these wicked problems requires transdisciplinary research to bring together input from affected communities and participatory efforts between professionals and non-academic stakeholders. For this project, the wicked problem we are challenged with is the contamination of the Rio Montagua. We're bringing together students and professors from Texas Tech University, Universidad Tecnológica de Honduras, and Universidad de San Carlos de Guatemala, as well as community members such as the First Nations in Central America to help find ways to stop pollution in this area. I am Jennifer Maxwell, the pioneering director of the Spanish for Healthcare program at the Catholic University of America. There is a great need to keep pace with the growing diversity of the patient population, so our healthcare workers deliver culturally tailored care to patients from a range of cultural and linguistic backgrounds. And most recently, we have been designated as an emerging Hispanic serving institute. Center around creating more global, culturally competent healthcare professionals who are able to collaborate interprofessionally, communicate across cultural differences, and improve their English and Spanish speaking skills. For all of us involved in this project, this will be our first hybrid program. By hybrid, I mean students will be both participating in an in-person exchange and will also work together to develop a project virtually across seven weeks between their exchanges. This unique approach will allow students to spend nearly 10 weeks together while only requiring 10 days of traveling. Creo que aquí hay beneficios para todos. Creo que la comunidad con la cual vamos a trabajar va a ser sumamente beneficiada de tener futuros profesionales que puedan ayudarles más a retomar o a tener una mejor salud. Y sobre todo creo que nuestros estudiantes van a tener un gran desarrollo de sus habilidades clínicas y también habilidades blandas, que para ser un excelente profesional son sin duda un gran pilar. The experience will foster growth personally and professionally. It will build your confidence stepping outside of the comfort zones 
and ultimately it will give you a true experience with cross-cultural communication, preparing them to give the best possible care in their careers. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for this great opportunity. Hi, and welcome to Quality Leadership University. We are located in Panama City, Republic of Panama, and we have been offering education at the highest academic level in Panama for 25 years. Illinois State University is a campus of over 20,000 students in central Illinois. We believe that learning to collaborate with people from around the world is an essential experience of a whole human being. Here in the College of Business, we apply that principle by building opportunities for students to interact with people from different cultures and different places. We are honored to collaborate with Illinois State University on the project Collaborative Cross-Cultural Learning to Enhance Global Problem-Solving Skills. The goal of this course is to increase both the theoretical knowledge of culture and cultural diversity as well as to build the confidence and practical experiences of working with people from diverse backgrounds. So the projects within this course are taking the students from a diverse cohort of Illinois students and putting them together with a diverse cohort of Panama students to increase the level of diversity and communication across cultural settings and across geographical distance. Our project also integrates civil society and business sector participation through strategic alliances with the American Chamber of Commerce in Panama and the Consejo del Sector Privado para la Asistencia Educacional. We would like to thank Partners of the Americas, the U.S. State Department, and AgroAmerica for this incredible opportunity to provide life-changing learning experiences for our students and generate capacity in the Latin American region. On behalf of Morgan State University in Baltimore, Maryland in the United States and the Instituto Especializado de Profesionales de la Salud in San Salvador, El Salvador, we are so excited to be one of the recipients of the 100,000 Strong in the Americas Innovation Fund and are so thankful for the amazing opportunity that we're going to be able to offer our students. EFRO is an institute focused on the education of healthcare professionals, especially nursing and psychology. The main goal of this institution is to form integral professionals that are going to be able to fulfill their, their vocation of service in whatever field they decide to enter. During the visit of the Morgan State Students to El Salvador, they will be able to visit three different communities in the capital and two of the main cities of the country. During these visits, they will conduct health days and will be able to interact with the people from the community to learn about their needs and their conditions of life. Additionally, they will get involved in cultural activities with the students of IEPROES to get to learn and know the cultural and customs that they have in this country. At the end of all this experience, the Morgan State students and the IEPRO students will be able to work as a team to identify and propose different projects that will bring a solution to any condition or problem that they found or identified during the visit to the different communities. In this way, they will be able to have a positive impact in the people they got to know during the interview. The Cultural Heroes program will unite psychology and nursing students from both institutions for a 12-month period. In March of 2022, 10 students from Maryland will complete a nine-day trip to El Salvador and attend Spanish lessons focused on communication skills they will need to work with the Salvadoran community. They'll participate in cultural activities, including folk dance, cooking demonstrations, and then the students will participate in community work involving offering health screenings and nutrition and hygiene classes to the community. In April of 2022, 10 Salvadoran students will have service learning opportunities in Baltimore, Maryland. Students will stay close to Morgan State University and they'll have the opportunity to volunteer at a local community center, which brings culinary skills, job opportunities, sustainable food sources, and mentorship, and hope 
to the youth of Southwest Baltimore. Students will also provide health screenings and other services that benefit the center and community and will visit historical landmarks in Baltimore and Washington, D.C. and participate in cultural activities such as attending a baseball game. Both institutions will integrate the Cultural Heroes Program and Cultural Heroes Challenge as an annual activity. Students will develop new leadership, critical thinking, problem-solving skills, and learn how to propose and execute social entrepreneurship projects. The Alamo College's District and Universidad Veritas Partnership is focused on creating high-impact programs to advance the 17 Sustainable Development Goals and create opportunities for underserved students to grow through experiential study abroad programs. We will integrate all lessons learned from the past two years to create innovative hybrid participation programs through technology. Programs like this exchange with Universidad Veritas represent a great opportunity to increase virtual and face-to-face -face mobility for our students that will translate into valuable intercultural skills. Universidad Veritas has hosted international students since 1993 and offers the opportunity for Alamo District College's students to participate in summer, semester, and faculty-led programs in various fields. Through the 100K Strong Innovation Fund, we have the unique opportunity for 10 students from each institution to explore the delicate balance between environmental sustainability and urban development. One of the great components of this program is that students will be able to virtually interact with each other and become immersed in the academic contents of the program before they travel to the country. The general theme of our grant program we call Symbiosis is environmental and climate solutions with a focus um, particularly on natural resource management, environmental protection, and landscape architecture. What makes it unique is that it's a coil and go model. Students will do collaborative online international learning with students from the other universities. Now, when students go to Costa Rica, they're going to participate in three different protected area system data collection projects. Students are going to be doing the data collection. We have an ongoing undergraduate research program that is for experiential learning for students to learn how to set up research, do research, and then report on research. Following the Costa Rica trip, 10 students from Universidad Veritas will travel to San Antonio to explore the urban development projects around the cherished natural resource, the San Antonio River. There have been many changes, but the river still acts as the center of the community as an economic driver. So now we want to explore with the architecture students all the commercial development and the community activities to assess the sustainability impact of projects. It will be a great opportunity to learn about processes of integration of nature and urban development. We expect this partnership to yield many benefits for both institutions. We want to expand the scope of our international joint programs to different disciplines and colleges to increase student mobility. That faculty and students will soon engage in joint research projects and experiential learning programs, both in place and by virtual means. Thank you, Partners of the Americas and 100K Strong Innovation Fund for supporting these valuable experiences and collaboration opportunities for our students. Hi, my name is Richard Johnson. I'm the Director of International Education at Harper College. Our project, Global Learning Through Online Virtual Education Exchange, GLOVE for short, oh, takes up the gauntlet of exploring the interconnectedness of college and career readiness through both virtual and experiential learning experiences. But really, what we're excited about mostly is to take off the gloves so we can expand access to intercultural, linguistic, and technical skills training for students who are typically underrepresented in traditional study abroad programs. I'm Kathleen Reynolds, faculty member in English as a Second Language and Linguistics at Harper College. The goal of the GLOVE project is to enhance students' global awareness and intercultural competencies, skills that are vital for today's job market. We're really excited to work hand in glove with our partners at Universidad Nacional in Costa Rica. Hello, my name is Adrián Carmona. I'm the coordinator of the International Affairs and the EFL Department 
at una sa Rapiki Campus in Costa Rica. Global Learning through Online Virtual Exchange, GLOB for short, is a great opportunity for us to enhance virtual and experimental learning chances. It's our pleasure and we are committed to expand access to intercultural linguistic and technical skills training for students who don't have access to such a great opportunity in study abroad programs. We're looking forward to start working with nuestros amigos de Harper College in Illinois, Estados Unidos. Pura vida and see you soon. I would like to thank to the U.S. State Department, 100K Strong in the Americas, Partners of the Americas, and Agro America. Thank you very much for supporting our project, Global Learning Through Online Virtual Exchange.